Hello, fire signs. We are here to tap in to some planetary content. So what's up with the planets, okay? Um, In regards to Mars being in the sign of Leo. Now, I did fuck these dates up on the planetary menu on my community tab. So it was just a month off, okay? I just did it a month off. I put June instead of July, okay? This transit will be taking place May 20th until July 9th, not June 9th. Okay. I'm gonna have it on the uh, thumbnail and everything. All right, so just j just know, okay, it's a little bit longer than what I put in for the community tab. Thank you guys for all the continued support, bookings, likes, shares, comments, subscribes, recommendations, tips, all that. I really appreciate it. Views, okay, I appreciate it. Um, to book a personal reading with me, my pricing and contact information is in the description box down below. All other info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. Make sure that you are liking the video and subscribing to the channel because it keeps me in your algorithm, otherwise known as the rotation. All right. Um, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. So what is Mars and Leo about? Right now, on this side of town, we like to talk about the tarot side of things, but I like to give a little bit of background about the astrology side, right? But if you want some more, this is the wrong hand I'm using. If you want some more info on the transit, go check my socials out. TikTok and Instagram, I'll be posting about the shit over there, right? Um... So Mars and Leo, I got the channel song. What's the I it's the I am the time and that's the only part of the song I know. That's the only lyric I can give to you, baby. Okay, so there could be a certain determination being put upon you, or you could need to be in during this time, okay? Um so I don't know, you know, with didn't that song that song was popular in uh, one of the Rocky movies, right? And he was, you know, getting in shape, he was trying to eat right and everything. You you know, he was getting back in the ring and shit like that. So I don't know, some of y'all could be um, needing to be a little bit more determined or being determined as it relates to uh, health and wellness, taking care of yourself, handling your responsibilities, right? Um, also, now be aware, there's a cause for concern anytime Mars is in a fire sign because you could be prone to, I heard callousness, you know, be kind of coming off a little bit cold, but that's not what I was going to say, but that's what I heard, right? But I was going to say you could be prone to acting a little bit sporadically or, you know, being a little bit too impulsive, right? So just be aware of those things. So, excuse me, because this transit is going to take place um, longer uh, for longer than a month, right? We're going to be using the monthly Oracle message card this, uh, deck the monthly oracle message deck to see what your overall energy is going to be with this transit and then we're going to do a spread for you guys now just a heads up you can have sun or mars in a fire sign or one of the fire sign houses first fifth and the ninth and some messages in here can definitely resonate with you check your chart the men are in here hello men okay <laughs> Divine masculine is showing up at the uh, on, uh at the bottom of the deck okay funny okay um oh also uh some of you guys could be dealing with a divine masculine during this time be with a divine masculine whether you are a man or a woman some of y'all could have uh some divine um masculine energy around you during this time or be one okay spirit guys how is this mars and leo transit affecting all fire signs may 20th until june fucking up may 20th until july 9th in the year 2023 oh wow that's crazy um i'm hearing count your blessings uh don't be in a space of like i want i want i want i want it's human nature though we can't really you know get away from being that energy but it's also be grateful for what you currently have don't be so focused on what you don't have or what you're trying to get like i said count your blessings be grateful all right now, girl, a change in your love life. What's going on? Are you getting married? Have you met someone new? Are you moving in with someone? Are you breaking up with someone, girl? I don't know. Okay, are you dating? Are you deciding to not date? What's going on? Okay, so some of y'all, this Mars and Leo transit could be directly affect, uh, di having a direct effect on your love life. All right, so let's, let's see what we can see, okay? Hmm. So on the bottom of the deck, we have changed your ways. So some of you guys, this for me is like, if you want to meet someone who you feel like is of your caliber, you got to be in those places, surroundings, environments, and in your space. Well, not in your space, but in a space of the way you can attract that sort of energy, okay? So I'm going to be honest with you, girl, you're not going to meet your mans or your shorty at the club. It's just not going to happen. People go there to have a good time. People don't go there to, you know, look for Prince Charming or Princess Charming. It just don't happen. I mean, you might... 
in some scenarios, okay, you could meet someone in an environment like that. But nine times out of ten, those aren't the environments that you want to meet like a serious, you know, partner with or certain a serious have a certain. There's not a, a type of environment to where you meet someone who you can have a serious relationship with. Okay, you know what I mean? All right. It's just giving me, with your overall energy being a change in your love life, with the bottom uh, card being change your ways, if you want to see changes in your love life as to how you interact with, interact with your significant other, how you communicate, how you communicate with others, the type of person that you're looking for, the type of connection that you're looking for, make sure that you don't need to do some rearranging yourself, okay? Like, you might need to change some of the ways about you, how you're moving, where you're at, how you're conducting yourself. It makes sense. My right, girl, let's pull some cards. Let's pull some cards. So here, guys. How is this Mars and Leo transit affecting all fire signs? May twentieth until July 9th in the year twenty twenty three. What we got, what we got, what we got. Eight of Pentacles. Put in work. Put in dirt. So we got the Eight of Pentacles here with the Eight of Wands. Hello, Sag. Um, so some of you guys could be dealing with um some uh changes in regards to your work life, all right, or certain uh goals and the aspirations that you have. This for me is um you are actively trying to accomplish certain things. A lot of y'all, this is in regards to like career or financial um, matters. Leo and Sag, I see some of y'all might get some sort of invite. It could be to some sort of work event. Um, a, a friend of yours might have something going on. You might have something going on and you are inviting people to something. I see some of y'all, there could be like some networking going on. Either this is in regards to the type of job that you work um, or certain like goals and uh, uh, aspirations you're trying to go after during this time requires you to network, requires you to be around certain people, you know, in certain environments. Or um, some of y'all focusing on certain aspirations or goals for yourself. Three, uh, three of Cups, Eight of Wands, and the Star card with the Strength card. A lot of you guys are going to uh, see and or realize that whenever you kind of commit to um, like I said, certain goals in your life, you'll find yourself being brought around people who with the star card, the universe feels like it are good for you. You know, um, people that you resonate with your tribe basically. Okay. Yeah. I see some like summer activities. You see like the kids and like the little, like a uh, kiddie pool with the dog and shit. All right. Some of y'all do see, um, going to some summer events, doing summer activities, uh, during this transit. Or like I said, some of y'all, this could be in regards to like work, uh, Sag and Leo. I'm seeing this the strongest for you. Spirit guys, how is this Mars and Leo transit affecting all fire signs? May 20th until July 9th in the year 2023. Is the deck fucked up? Because what is this? Ten of Pentacles in reverse with the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Let me talk to the single ones real fast. So, for the single ones, some of you guys... um might be a little bit more focused on establishing yourself rather than being focused on uh could creating a certain uh creating dating i'm a sad girl i don't know why i'm stepping on eggshells okay some of you guys are a lot but you know you're married to the money you're married to your career you're married to your goals you're married to your ambitions okay you're not really um focused on being in a serious relationship committing to anything like i said other than your goals right now okay seven of pentacles with the knight of wands you can wait <laughs> seven of pentacles and the knight of wands you can wait plus some of y'all i'm hearing like want to be able to have certain experiences before you get with someone like you don't want to wait until you get with someone to really start living life you know you want to kind of be able to uh have those experiences on your own you want to uh have to wait until you like coupled up to do things like that right
Uh, some of y'all might get a little bit of hate because of this. Five of Swords and the Seven of Cups. I'm still talking to the single ones, all right? Five of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Some of y'all might get some hate for that because uh, I really feel like it's because people who don't really have their own identity, they kind of tie themselves. I'm about to say it, girl. I'm about to say it. They kind of tie their worth to, you know, just being. Oh, girl, I don't want to say it. I'm going to say it, girl, it might offend somebody, but it shouldn't. Okay, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I'm just saying whenever that's all you consider yourself to be, it might be a problem. Okay, you might kind of, you know, need to make sure you know who you is, right? Um, certain people who kind of only see themselves, don't see themselves past a certain point, I'm going to say it, see themselves past being a girlfriend, a wife, a dad, um, a husband. You know, it's just, you don't really, outside of your relationship, outside of being a parent, who are you? You know, what do you have going on? All right. For those who kind of feel like that's not your only identity, like I said, I'm not saying that anything is wrong with that. But some of y'all, for you, you might receive some hate from people who don't really know anything outside of that you know they've never really uh lived life you know by themselves they've always been with someone they've always been underneath their family's uh influence you know five of swords and the seven of cups some people might say oh you know um you like being alone or um you're undateable <laughs> or you know maybe something's wrong with you where with the nine of wands and the seven of pentacles some of y'all know what you want you're not willing to settle unlike some people oh that's where it is. Some people be knowing that they selling and still be finding the, 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 the space and audacity to talk shit. It's crazy, right? It, five, of, five of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. Very lost, okay? Some of you guys receive hate from people who I feel like don't really know where they're going in life. And some of y'all, if I could be honest with you, you might not know what the final destination is, Knight of Wands, but I can tell you what, though. I'm going to live. <laughs> some of y'all just know that girl i don't know where i'm gonna end up but until i get there i'm going to accumulate as much fun and experience and live in life that i can all right that i can oh couples are you in here I don't know, girl. I hate this. I hate this for some of the couples. Uh, I feel like it's for couples and people who are in, you know, who are kind of single right now. Um, for both. Both with an S. I feel like some of y'all might not fuck with certain family uh, members. Excuse me. It could be because, like I said, that whole, um, I'm going to talk down on you. Or I'm going to demean what you're doing because, really, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Or I wish I really could be doing that, okay? Some of y'all receive that on, receive hate from your own family in regards to that. So, some of y'all might distance yourself from certain family members who really ain't got shit going on. 13, 13 confirmations. Who really ain't got shit going on but always find the, the, the time and opportunity to comment on what you got going on. Like, you ain't out here, like, you know, me checking off boxes, in regards to your goals, while well, niggas is standing still or, you know, sharing posts about it. Spirit guys, how's Mars and Leo transit affecting all fire signs May 20th until July 9th in the year 2023? Well, you hear that from me. Keep it to yourself. I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-G. What's this? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of No, shit. Rewind it. Eight of Pentacles upright. Ten of Pentacles in reverse with the Nine of Pentacles upright. Yeah, some of y'all, this is, you know, for the single ones. This is for me, you know, being a little bit more focused on, like I said, your aspirations, your goals, that you could be trying to accomplish during this time, focusing on your craft, um, focusing on kind of like establishing yourself, you know, be, be, being an indi independent individual. I was kind of looking funny at this card, but it's outside your energy. It's people that kind of, I'm going to say, girl, want to be in your space. Your position. Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Some of y'all don't know it, but other people put you on a pedestal because it's like with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, you might not have a long-term career. You know, you might not have the 10-year the plan going on. You might not be in an um, exclusive relationship. You might not have any kids. You, you know, it's just, girl, it's just me. Eight of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. I clock in, I clock out, I go home, I work on my art, you know, my painting, my my, my, my sculptures, or whatever you do, all right, for creativity purposes. You could have certain people who kind of, you know, 
Like, girl, what the fuck? Why you even say anything about me? I don't talk about you. I have no time to. I have no time to check in for what you're doing. I also feel like some of y'all need to be careful about who you are telling your ideas to because some people who, like I said, have no identity, they, girls, the swiper, no swiping, okay? They swiping everything they can. You need to be careful because some people will try to take what you're doing and think that maybe they can do it better. Even though the bitch ain't even come up with the idea. It's crazy. So be careful about that, all right? Fire signs, you need to be careful about that being you. Sag, I don't like that I see you out here like that. Knight of Wands, you need to be careful about being that person, okay? Or this happening around you in the workplace, in your family, your neighborhood. It's crazy. You know, I had, you know, girl, she was an older woman, so that could be why she said shit, but it don't matter, bitch. I live here by myself. I pay rent. Don't don't comment on what the fuck I got on, especially if my ass ain't out, my titties ain't out. The fuck? Came out here to get something from my car. Walked out, I had some sweats on, I had on a crop top. Little, little, little tummy. Wasn't nothing serious. Little tummy out, had my slides on, and I ain't gonna say her name, girl. I'm not inviting that old witch into my fucking house. She getting out her car, and she was like, oh, girl... Look, she's got so much skin showing. She literally said that there was somebody else outside that I think she might know. And she was like, oh, look at her. She has so much skin out. And I know whenever old bitches, excuse me, God, I'm so sorry, forgive me. I know whenever older women make comments like that, they trying to be shady. I don't even talk to you, lady. I don't even know what unit you live in. I just know you live in this building. Why would you even feel the need to say something like that? It's like shit like that. Like, you didn't even, you even do nothing to say anything to be commented on. Yet somebody got to make a comment. How you dress, how you move, what you're doing in life. It's crazy. Take your old ass back in the house. Spirit guys, it's, the, it's, it's coming up on the summertime, bitch. Spirit guys, how's Mars and Leo transit? Don't let Mars and Leo have you out here arguing with folks. Okay, girl, I almost got into it at the airport coming back from Puerto Rico. Okay, I thought a bitch was talking to me. She might have been. All right. But I was waiting. I was waiting for her to confirm it. Cause one thing I'm not finna do. I'm not finna get stuck in Puerto Rico again. Okay. Cause I'd knock some bitch out on the tarmac. We can't have that. Spirit guys. Alice and Mars and Leo trains are affecting all fire signs May 20th until July 9th in the year 2023. Eight of Cups with the Judgment card. Some of you guys um, are making lifestyle changes right and some of y'all this involves you turning your back on something eight of cups some of y'all this involves you turning your back on certain jobs i just heard it abandoning a certain long-term career uh goal and or plan it's like i'm tired of trying to follow this step-by-step -step, uh, uh policy and or program it's like girl i'm, I'm gonna deal with it as shit go Eight of Pentacles and nine of Pentacles. the main thing i'm focused on right now is being financially secure and stable Okay, ain't no job finna lock me in for no four years talking about some, oh, you can start your 401k here. Bitch, I don't know if I'm gonna be here next month. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I do not, okay? I just feel like some of y'all are a lot more focused on the next three to six months rather than the next three to six years. Not saying that you shouldn't be, you know, not, you know, thinking about things that, you know, is coming towards the future. It just gives me the energy with that Knight of Wands coming out. You're, uh, you're okay with just experiencing things for the now. You know what I mean? It, it's like, let me make sure things around me right now are okay before I start, you know, trying to set myself up for the next few years. Let me make sure oh, right now is okay. Does that make sense? I don't want nobody to think that, you know what I'm saying? Don't be concerned about the next two years. Don't be a dumbass. So, I said what I said. <laughs> I said what I said, okay? Leo, I don't know if I'm specifically talking to you. I say that because the sun card is out here, specifically the ladies, sun card and the queen of pentacles. Let's say I'm talking to the men and the women, all right? Some of y'all, I feel like you might find yourself turning your back on certain people who, you know, it's not really having it all figured out. It's just where you going in life. Now, I don't want nobody to say that I'm contradicting myself because I'm not saying don't prepare for the near future. I'm just saying don't be so focused on where you're trying to get to that you abandon what's going on right now. You're so focused on what your end goal is that you're not taking care of the current process, you know? Your current routines, does that make sense? 
Some of y'all with the Eight of Cups might have found yourself turning your back on certain people that you kind of feel like just sit there. Knight of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. Dreams that be, be, be rapper. I don't know, girl, but you know, Barbie dreams, Nicki Minaj. It's like people can sit with you all day, talk about doing this, talk about doing that, but it's like, are they really putting in the work to go after something in life? Okay, it, you know, girl, you ain't gotta have the bins right now. You know what I'm saying? Living in Ballantyne right now, the Charlatans know what I'm talking about. You know, Southside and shit. But you gotta be doing something. All right, so some of y'all might find yourself turning your back on certain people. You just kind of feel like it's lazy. You're not really taking their life seriously. It's like waiting for a handout, saying that you want better in life, but you ain't making no changes. Do you know? Have, have that be the case. Leo, either this is you or this applies to people around you during this time that, like I said, you had decided to turn your back on. Some of y'all, it was co-workers. No, girl, that's just where it stay at. We co-workers and that's it. I don't really want to befriend you outside of this, okay? Family members. That old bitch that live on the first floor. Girl, fuck her. Spirit guys. You know what I mean? She might not have made anything by it. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? I be reading rooms like books. Please, let's not, okay? <laughs> you know when somebody, you know, trying to like, girl, was that a jab? Bitch just attempt to throw a tree at me, spirit guys. Owls and Mars and Leo trans are affecting all fire signs May 20th until July 9th in the year 2023. Remember that five of swords did come out. Shade comes in all forms. It comes in compliments. It comes in just straight up shade. It comes in jabs. It comes in bitterness. Pay attention. Seven of cups with the ten of cups. Oh, Lord. Fire sign. Some of you guys might have or will be, I'm hearing, abandoning a certain unrealistic expectation as it relates to stability. Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. Um, this for me is like, I am 19 years old. It's very rare that a 19-year-old is going to have the house, the picket fence, two cars in the driveway, no debt, no taxes, old. It's, it's like, that's very rare. You know what I mean? It's like some of you guys are releasing or needing to walk away from a certain unreal unrealistic expectation based off of where you are at currently. All right. Let me get the let me get the one car first. Let me let me get the town home. Let me get the condominium first before I start talking about mansions and shit. All right. It's like let me finish step one before I be worried about, you know, step 10, basically. Oh Lord. I see some fire signs here might be kind of in its edges to where it's like seeing maybe a certain family dynamic or a relationship with someone. It's like they starting to ask, like, is this really worth me putting work towards? Fire signs, this is about you, girl. It applies to an earth or a water sign individual. If it's an air sign, I'm seeing this with Gemini. They're keeping it to themselves, though. You, you might need to... I would say you might need to communicate that with the nine of swords. Maybe you, you, you try not to have no fucking arguments. You know this going to cause an argument if you bring this up. You say you don't want to be with me? Like, oh, girl. I should never said nothing. <laughs> I should never said nothing, okay? Also, I see some of y'all... This must be for single ones. Are, are the couples in here? Are the couples... Like the couples are in here too you know whether this could have happened before you got into a relationship it could be happening now i told you some of y'all could feel this way about people that you um interact with in regards to work and or family okay go take it as it applies you feel me so i felt i leave i see a lot of you guys um releasing a certain unrealistic expectation as it relates to love as it relates to your financial standing career business it's like, I don't, I don't have to have it figured out. I don't have to have it all figured out right now. I don't need to have the house, the family, the husband, the wife, the dog, the kids, all right now. If you know it's just me and man's, we don't have to rush into, you know, moving in together or getting married or, you know, all that. Like, you know, girl, we, I don't want to say we got, uh, you know, our own things going on. Let's just focus on that. But it's like, you know, you're not in a rush. Or some of y'all being urged not to be in a rush, Okay. Or like I said, having this unrealistic expectation that things will always be uh, ideal. 
perfecto. Spirit guys, how's the Mars and Leo transit affecting all fire signs May 20th until July 9th? In the year 2023. Okay, so some of y'all can have Jupiter in a fire sign. We got the Wheel of Fortune. Y'all know what this is. It's divine timing. What I've been talking about this entire reading. Y'all know I'm documented and or verified. I don't want to play for no, I don't want to pay for no blue check, but bitch, they need to hand it over. I look, it's blue on my nails. I mean, come on, you know. And I don't know if y'all can tell, but in each in each of these cups, there's like a different occupation: teacher, doctor, astronaut, singer, librarian, or some or traffic control. I don't know, girl. It's it's um. I do see some of y'all deciding that you need to narrow down, like not really your dreams, but you gotta you gotta pick one. Like pick something that you're gonna stay consistent with, commit to, and really, you know, make something out of it, manifest something out of it. And I'm seeing some of y'all this relates to career. It's like, I know I don't wanna be tied down to a certain type of job for a long time, but I know that I do wanna achieve some sort of stability and or security for myself. So with the eight of pentacles. Um, maybe you decide, you know, leave a certain job because you want to make a career shift. Will of fortune. Will of fortune for me is about expansion as well. So this for me is going to be realizing that you want more out of life. So a certain, um, way of doing things or a certain outlook that you had in regards to, like I said, your stability and security, you could be changing or needing to change during this time. Spirit guys, how is this Mars and Leo transit affecting all fire signs? May 20th until July 9th. Booty up in the year 2023. Hello, ladies. Empress. So some of y'all could have Venus in a fire sign with the four of swords. That's crazy. I don't know if you used to work with this lady. If this was your manager, your supervisor. I have no idea. Four of swords, queen of swords, six of wands, magician. Anyway, divine feminine. There could have been another feminine energy that maybe you don't, you don't really rock with like that anymore. Ten of pentacles. You could be related to this woman. Um, you could worked. You could have worked with this woman. I don't know who this lady is to you. Okay, but it was another feminine energy. And I just sort of felt like with the eight of cups, you didn't really want to invest any sort of energy into this person because with the four swords queen of swords six of wands and magician this person talks about wanting this wanting that wanting that and wanting this but you realize that with the four swords this person really isn't doing anything to you know get it and i said this before you know hustlers and the go-getters ambitious people can't be around people that just you know sit want hope wish and fantasize it's going to aggravate him. It's going to be like, nah. And the other person, Five of Swords came out. You're going to develop, that person's going to develop um, animosity towards you because they see you kind of doing things that they want to do. Not, you know, specifically that they want to do, but they see you moving in a way that they talk about moving in that way. Ah, for the men, oh girl, some of y'all could be having mixed feelings about whether or not you want to stay in a certain connection or leave a certain connection. This could be someone here that you have uh, kids with. Or some of y'all have already left somebody like this. It's like we just, oil and water, we didn't mix. You didn't, you didn't mix well with this person. Spirit guys, how is this uh, Mars and Leo transit affecting all fire signs? May 20th until July 9th in the year 2023. Ten of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles. Hold up, girl. Are you fucking kidding me? Ladies, men, I, I'm talking to y'all too, okay? I'm talking to y'all too. Just take it how it applies. But Empress is out here. That's why I'm saying ladies specifically. But fire signs, I really feel that. And it look like another feminine energy. Because this is the second time another feminine energy has showed up. So either men, this is some woman. Could be related to you. Used to uh, be cool with you. Used to do business with you. Used to work with you. Used to be with you or whatever. 
um ladies y'all too there is a feminine energy outside of y'all who with the page of swords judgment card page of cups five of wands hangman the queen of pentacles it's kind of like feeling some sort of way towards you why girl I, I couldn't even finish the fucking sentence like why with the hangman this person might feel like um adversities keep them from going after certain things whereas they see you know things just things just happen for you i guess girl what goodbye and fucking good night is that the case maybe but <laughs> is it though is it It's like, I don't want to, I'm okay, girl. That's what came to mind. It's like someone victimizes themselves as to why something isn't happening for them. Or certain things aren't turning out how they want to for themselves, you know? And they kind of criticize or comment on how things happen for you. Oh, you come from a certain, excuse me, a certain family. You have a support system. You don't have to deal with this. You don't have to deal with that. Every hand... That everybody is giving the cards that they are giving comes with hiccups. Not everybody got the draw fours and plus twos in their hand. All right. Some people just working with straight up skips. Okay. Like they ain't really working with the strongest hand, but it's up to you how you handle your hand, how you play your hand. Right. It's like, girl, everybody got hangups. Everybody got shit going on that's kind of keeping them from being in the space that they want to. I hate, oh Lord, forgive me, God. I don't like, I dislike people like this. Who victimize themselves like oh well I can't have this because of this and I can't have that because of that everybody the, how the economy is set up right now everybody is facing obstacles everyone you are not the only one Leo you're showing up five of wands either this is other people to you or you to other people be careful don't be that that's God. spirit guys how is Mars and Leo transit affecting all fire signs May 20th until July 9th in the year 2023? Ace of Cups. Stay hydrated, my friends. Okay. Water the garden. Ah, now Divine Feminine. Let me let me toot toot beep beep. All right, divine feminine, whether you are a mother or you be sunning these niggas, girl, whichever. Some of y'all could be in a connection with uh connection. With someone during this time. Or men, you're in a connection with someone during this time. This woman has your child. This woman has already been a mother. She was a mother before she met you. Um, or you just see her as, I'm that girl. You just see her as that girl. All right? You love her. She love you. You love him. I like it. Some of y'all are in a real nice love connection. Like, it's like, wow. <laughs> it's like, wow, girl. After all them frogs, I finally found the prince. Or princess, you know? Oh no, I hope I'm not ruining it for somebody. Okay, I do see somebody here could have recently been proposed to, could have recently gotten married. Marriage! <laughs> but the single ones, Nine of Pentacles, Will of Fortune, the Ace of Cups, that love is on its way to you. Now, the Will of Fortune for me can represent a season, a year, two years. It's divine timing. It comes around you whenever you're ready for it. Okay? Don't be screaming at the screen like, I've been waiting! That mean you're not ready. And the fact that you're getting aggressive with me like that definitely lets you know you're not ready, okay? It's just everybody has a certain season for things. Some people have a season to where they need to establish themselves. Some people have a season to where it's time for them to be in love. Some people have a season to where it's time for them to really submerge themselves into being with somebody. You know, everybody has different seasons, y'all, so... Um, please don't compare your path to somebody else's path. You know, you say, oh, well, you know, they didn't found this and they doing this and they doing that. Okay. Versus what you doing, man. Shut the fuck up, girl. Ain't your house. You know, <laughs> you shouldn't be out here worried about somebody else's household when you got your own shit to take care of, baby. Okay. Or comparing your path to somebody else's path. Your, your path, especially for you. All right. Remember the universe is out here with the will of fortune. I really hope I didn't offend anybody because I wasn't trying to. I really wasn't, okay? And some of y'all got options like a motherfucker. It's like, girl, you, they're all around me. You know, if niggas could, they leave their dick at my, at my front doorstep. It's crazy. All right, but 
you know it's like i want that one i want something serious i don't just want something to play around with all right get up out of here five signs this was your mars and leo uh reading May 20th until July 9th. Some of you guys could have Sun, Mars, Venus, and or Jupiter in a fire sign. And some messages in here will definitely resonate with you. Like the video. Leave a comment telling me if this resonated with you in any way. Subscribe. Pricing and contact information will be in the description box down below. All other info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. Alright, I'm going to talk to you later. Let me finish up these readings. Bye.